Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Kali Linux latest version that is 2024. So first go to Kali official website that is Kali.wars. See, click on get Kali or download. Okay, both are same. So click on get Kali. See here, we have the installer images that is ISO and virtual machines. By using virtual machines, you can directly attach it. But using this one, we can customize the installation. Okay. Scroll down here or just click on installer images. See. We have 64 bit, 32 bit and Apple Silicon. So click on this download button. So then it will download the Kali Linux 2024. If you want to install older versions, go to the bottom. At the end, go down completely. See here, click on this archived religious. Open in new tab, click on Kali images. See, we have the older versions like up to 2023.4 version. Okay, but our read of purpose is 2024. Okay, so scroll up, click on installers, then click on see, we have torrent or some or download button click on this download button it won't ask any registration click on downloads go to downloads see the size is 3.8 gigabytes wait until this download completes i am cancelling this one because i have already downloaded close this one see this is the iso file name okay now open oracle vm virtual box if you have to install oracle vm virtual box on your machine then go through the link provided in the video description and install it okay so start vm see oracle vm virtual box click on it see at present i have parrot security os 6 so to create new virtual machine for kali linux click on new or click on machine and select new both are same see here we have different modes like expert mode and guided mode i am using guided mode okay then provide the name for virtual machine i am giving kali 2024 then select the folder to store this virtual machine files and folders okay click on drop down and select other then select wherever you have enough space vms then create new folder for kali 23 kali 2024 hit enter click on select folder see i am going to store this virtual machine files and folders in this location then select the downloaded iso image click on other then go to downloads see we have the kali linux 2024.1 installer iso file select it and click on open then click on next see once we selected the type has been changed to linux and version is open to 64 it's fine then click on next here we have to provide the memory for this virtual machine provide the memory then provide the processors i am going with one processor click on next here we have to provide the hard disk size that is virtual hard disk size. i am giving 100 gigabytes then click on next see this is the summary again if you want to edit any one of them you have to click on this back and edit as for your requirement even after finish also we can edit it we can edit these settings click on finish then we will see see these are the options are the properties of this virtual machine if you want to edit click on the settings then select or configure the settings for virtual machine for kali linux 2024 click on cancel we just created virtual machine but actual installation not yet started click on start or right click then select start normal start or machine and select start all the three options are same so in the left menu select virtual machine and click on start use up and down arrows and select the type of installation 
So select the first one that is graphical install and hit enter. Select the language and click on continue. Here select the location. This will be your region. So I am going with the United States. Then click on continue. Keyboard I am going with American English. Click on continue. Now we have to provide the host name for this virtual machine. So by default it has selected host name as Kali. So I am giving Kali 2024. 2024. Then click on continue. If you, if you have an existing domain or if you want to add this machine to domain, you have to provide the domain name. Otherwise keep it is blank and click on continue. See now we have to create the user. So, I am giving full name for the user as Artuscus. Click on continue. See, it has picked the same full name. Okay, I am okay with the username. Click on continue. Set the password for this new user. Click on continue. Select the clock. I am going with Eastern. Click on continue. See now partition disks. So I am going with the guided use entire disk. If you want to set up the LVM, you have to click on the respective option. So I am going with the first one, then click on continue. Click on continue. Click on continue. Select the finish partitioning and write changes to disk. Then click on continue. Continue. Click on S, then click on continue. Now software selection. See at the moment only the core of the system is installed. The default sections of below will install Kali Linux with its standard environment and default tools. So we can customize it by using selecting different environment or different collection of tools. So I am going with KDE Plasma then click on continue. See now select the display manager. I am going with light display manager. If you want SSDM you can select it. But I am going with the light display manager. Click on the continue. Select S to install Grub Bootloader. Then click on continue. Select the device for Grub Bootloader. Then click on continue. See, installation has been completed. Also, it is saying make sure to remove the installation media so that you boot into new system rather than the restarting the system okay so go to virtual machine see it is already removed see we don't have the optical drive even if you go to settings storage see it is empty okay no need to remove anything now click on continue to restart this virtual machine Provide the username that we have created at the time of making this video. Then 
double click on this one again double click on it see we got the full screen we have successfully connected to Kali Linux wait it is loading see this is the desktop for the Kali Linux 2024 click on this applications see you have the different tools for the pen testing or malware analysis or for any ethical hacking or cyber security tools okay click on terminal let me maximize the font go to file preferences click on the font change it to click on ok click on apply click on ok now verify whether this is Kali Linux 2024 or not so command is more slash etc os hyphen release see we have installed Kali Linux and its version is 2024 okay so in this video we have seen how to download and install Kali Linux 2024 on VirtualBox in Windows environment for more Kali Linux videos please subscribe my channel thank you